Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Sanapa. Okay, so in this video, we will see uh, how we can test and troubleshoot a control panel. Okay. So now we have small control panel connected with a small motor okay so this is one control panel uh, DOL starter connected with a uh, three-phase motor okay so this panel is three-phase uh, motor control panel okay DOL starter so now we will see how first how we can test the panel so basically in any control panel there will be a uh, two major things okay one is incoming and second is outgoing and power turners and control turners okay so power supply and control supply okay so first uh, before uh, switch on the any uh, panel we have to make sure our incoming supply is healthy so for uh, measuring the voltage at least we need a multimeter so better if you have uh, meter with uh, voltage measure and uh, current measure like multimeter with uh, clamp meter okay so this is the multimeter and clamp meter combination so with this just we will make sure our incoming supply is healthy okay so we need three phase supply so i will check with each phase okay so our uh, three phase supply is healthy uh, before uh, starting we will check what are uh, what are inside the what are the components inside the panel okay so we have incomer breaker contactor overload relay and outgoing terminals okay also we have run trip uh, lamps and one on off switch okay so this panel will be controlled with this on off switch okay so before starting we have to make sure the connections also it's connected terminator properly incoming and outgoing is connected okay so now we are going to uh, switch on the uh, motor okay switch on the uh, start the motor so now we will start the motor so i put switch on so run indication has come contactor is energized the motor is working okay so make sure the motor is working we will measure the ampere okay so now it is uh, taking 0.6 ampere so this is uh, since small motor so it is taking normal current only so now motor is working normally okay now the panel is now in good condition okay what there is some problem happen in control panels okay uh, now usually uh, we may pass any uh, face any problems in control panels okay one once we have uh, problems in control panel how we can uh, troubleshoot the control panel okay so normally uh, when we have a problem in control panel there are uh, two types of possibility okay one is panel is working but it is tripping after started it is tripping this is one uh, one chance may cause another one is panel is not at all starting the motor okay now we will see one by one okay so now what if the panel is not at all starting so how we can uh, troubleshoot this issue okay okay now <laughs> basically if any uh, starter panel uh, the contactor this is the main component which will uh, switching the power on and off okay for contactor uh, power switching on and off of, we have to give coil supply this contactor has one uh, coil inside okay this coil is supposed to get energized so once this coil get control supply then the contactor will energize then the power supply will pass okay when the panel is not starting that means the contactor is not energizing okay first we have to check the operation uh, part okay so now for example now i put control supply off okay so panel is on that means <coughs> so, uh, panel is enabled it is supposed to work but it is not working okay now we will see okay wh what is what is the problem can cause for testing now i put mcb okay once you reach the panel you can uh, find if mcb trips you can switch on but unfortunately if something happened loose connection or something some uh, wire cut how we can uh, tra uh, trace out and sort the issue okay as i told you first the contact once this uh, switch is uh, put on the contactor is supposed to energize okay 
Once this contactor is energized, that means we need 230 volt control supply on the coil end. Okay. So each contactor will have control supply terminal A1 and A2. Okay. A2, A2 is the uh, <coughs> neutral side and A1 is the positive side. That means phase side. Once you uh, operate the switch or any power switch, whatever control system it's operated, A1 will get the control supply and A1, A2 together, uh, 230 you will get and the contactor will be it. This is how uh, the contactor will start the motor. Now, we have to check whether we are getting the control supply or not. Okay. First, we will check A1, A2 voltage. Okay. So, there is no voltage on the A1 and A2. Okay. Now, as I told, A2 is neutral. It is connected directly from neutral end. Okay. <coughs> then, if we are drawing, you can uh, trace uh, <coughs> the wire numbers uh, uh, step by step with drawing. What if you don't have drawing? Okay. <coughs> so, you have to check the wire number of the A2. So, this uh, wire number is 4. You, <coughs> you have to understand one thing. In uh, control panels, there will be a series wire numbers will be given for every step of the control wiring. Step means if the control wire is crossing any contactor, NONC, relay, terminals, whatever, the wire number will be changed uh, like 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. So <laughs> you have to, you can trace accordingly, okay. Now our A2, uh, A1 wire number is 4, okay. Now we have to check uh, the previous number. That means we are in the end, end. <coughs> we are in the end side, okay. So we have to trace our previous wire number only, okay. First we have to check where is another end of the 4, okay. We will check uh, slowly and I find wire number 4 on, on the overload relay, okay. And also it has given the REN, obviously, yes. Once this uh, contactor ends at the same time, the REN indication also should glow. Now we will check the <coughs> 4, okay. So in overload relay, the 4 is given. Before that, is 3 is given, okay. Then we have to check whether the supply is in 3 or not, okay. 3 also not there. So yeah, then we have to check another end of the 3, okay. So another end of the 3, where it is? It is in on-up switch, okay. So we have to check the uh, another end of this uh, uh, 3, the next number, okay, 2. We have to uh, check this uh, control supply on the 2. 2. 2 also there is no supply, okay. So then we have to find the another end of the 2 with another wire number, okay. So 2 has given here in the control terminal, okay. So next number is 1. So we have to check the wire number 1 supply, okay, with the neutral. So supply is not there. So we have to find the another uh, one another end of the one terminal. Okay, so one ferrule. So it is given in that uh, MCB. So this supply also not there. Then we have to find the another end of this uh, MCB. So another end of the MCB is supply is available. Okay, so this end it is not available. So that means this MCB has a problem. That means for testing, I put off. Okay. If uh, practically it may happen something. Okay. Now <coughs> I energize this MCB. So we got the control supply across the coil. That means the coil is energized. The motor is working. Okay. So this is how you can uh, troubleshoot. You can trace the control panel wiring. Okay. Okay, now the panel is starting, but it is tripping. That means when the load is connected, the panel is tripping means we have to check the load. That means motor, okay. So in next video, I will show you how to uh, check the motor, okay. How we can test the motor, if motor is tripping by overload or short circuit. How we can test the motor, we will see in the next video, okay. So I hope these things you understood uh, <coughs> you can you can uh, troubleshoot or you can trace your uh, control panels problems your own okay so thanks for watching uh, i will see you in next video till then bye from sinapa